Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. Yes, it's time for our second album of the month for Rock 2022 AU. Bit of a disclaimer, I'm recording this on the 14th because we're pretty busy as a family on the 15th. But it will be uploaded on the 15th and I hope that's okay. So April is about exploring a couple of genres in music and we started with disco and I featured the Saturday Night Fever album because the movie and the album were incredibly popular and it proves I was right. Lots of people who are taking part in our make-along loved the music, remembered the music, everything, the movie. I don't think only one wasn't really into it and didn't know much about it but they were a lot younger. Than me so we had about we've had about 12 pictures posted in our Facebook group which is really great and hopefully we'll get some more when I show you album two so I told the boys they could pick any other genre there we have in our collection classical opera country blues jazz you name it it's there for them to pick from and Reeves did the picking and I knew by the funny little smirk on his face this morning when he went to tell me and give me the album he was having a bit of a laugh so our genre we are going to explore for the 15 is da -dun -da -dun, punk rock yes punk rock I didn't think we had any vinyl records to do with punk rock because Thing and I went into it and I know Reeves is not really into it but he remembered we had one album to do with punk. I think he, the idea was because it was in his memory. Recently we sat up late together and I was crocheting something and he was exploring music channels and we came across a doco on American punk rock, which was actually quite interesting, even if I don't like the music. And it, it, the music's terrible. I'm sorry, my opinion. But the actual doco about it was really interesting. And I discovered a bit more about American punk rock, and so did he. And that's why he's picked this genre. And when he gave me the album, he just absolutely cracked up. So guys, before I give, show you the album, and I'm sure you're going to have a laugh, I'll give you a bit of info and research on punk rock that I've done so I knew a bit more myself. It's um, rooted in the 60s garage rock. Bands rejected, punk rock bands rejected the preconceived excesses, excesses of the 70s rock. So it was about early 70s punk rock was born in Britain. They typically produce short, fast paced songs with hard edge melodies and singing styles, stripped down instrumentation and often shouted political and anti-establishment lyrics. Many bands self-produce court recordings and distributed, distributed them through independent record labels. So that, make note of that that they self-produced and they went through independent record labels to get their music out there. The vocals were sometimes nasally and the lyrics often shouted in an arrogant snarl rather than conventionally sung, which is probably why I didn't like it. Complicated guitar solos were considered self-indulgent, although basic guitar breaks were okay. A lot of music critics when punk rock was being born said their music sound, um, especially the guitar, sounded like buzz saws droning. The punk rock lyrics are typically blunt and confrontational compared to the lyrics of other popular music genres. They often focused on social and political issues. The British punk rock was aim was to outrage mainstream public with their behavior. The Sex Pistols, I do remember them, had a couple of songs that really made it well, quite up the charts. One of them is Anarchy, Anarchy in the UK, which I'm not sure of, but I do remember God Save the Queen. And a few of them out there may have heard it 
one stage another. They opened the disparaged critical political system and depictions of relationships as sex are common in their music. So American punk rock was developed in the early 77. Um, there are lots of band names I don't know, but from the doco, I do know Black Flag. They um, developed a hard punk sound and played their debut public performance in a garage, garage in Rondo Beach in 1977. One of the things about punk rock, like hippies, was the fashion. Now, American um, male punk rockers wore T-shirts, leather jackets, jeans. British male punk rockers wore leather jackets, T-shirts, but their jeans were ripped and they wore black boots that were often the Doc Martin boots. The female punk rockers, well, they didn't want to look like mainstream female, you know, sex kitten ballad belting rock stars they wanted to look different and their fashion was more like bondage ragamuffin in actual fact the female punk rock musicians had quite an influence on the fans for their fashion style now malcolm claren i think he was in the sex pistols his girlfriend was vivian westwood and she designed a lot of punk rock clothes but the average punk rock fan couldn't afford them they were very expensive so yeah I don't know what happened to that line. Probably ended up in a landfill. What else is there? The most important thing about the fashion, for the men especially, was their hair. They liked to crop short. That's how it started out. And then as the genre grew and developed, they went for the mohawk. And then the mohawk became the spiky mohawk. And... As the fashion developed, you know, there's tattoos and piercings and safety pins and studs all started to appear in the fashion for both the men and the women. So, are you ready for our punk album? Yes, we had one in the collection and he had a big laugh giving us this one. He does say the cover will inspire us if the music doesn't. Da -dum, da -dum. Chipmunk Punk, a children's album. Yes, the boys, when they were very young, used to listen to this and they loved it. And we have Theodore, Simon and Alvin on the cover. There's a brick wall that actually reminds me of a tea tea cozy knitted pattern I do. There's a guitar, a rubbish bin. And if you look really closely, Alvin's actually got a safety pin in his top to represent punk. This album was released in 1980. I'm not sure it's about punk music so much as it's a bit of a joke for us. Because on here is Billy Joel's uh, You May Be Right, Freddie Mercury, Crazy Little Thing Called Love, and My Sharona. Does that song haunt me? My eldest son used to sing My Sharona in the car whenever it came on the radio. When he was a lot younger, he'd get embarrassed now if I reminded him. Um, he couldn't sing. He still can't sing. And it drove me insane. But yes, this is our album. There's only Alvin playing the guitar on the back. But I hope it does inspire you. Now, in the description below will be a music playlist of punk rock music. Um, this album is, I, I checked it out. Now, I paid, there's still the price sticker on it about two dollars for this album and when i was on ebay researching to see if it was worth anything it's actually quite a little collector's item it sells for between 20 and 25 dollars there you have it in good condition now i said make note of the music produced and recorded the reason being is which is what reeves told me is punk rocks vinyl albums in good conditions are worth a bit of money um, everyone thinks Beatles Rolling Stones Elvis is worth money no it's not because he they sold millions and they were mass produced whereas punk rock albums weren't and a lot of them didn't survive the period of punk rock because fans used to take them to concerts and smash them up so if you have a punk rock album in your collection it might be worth a bit 
Now let me know in the comments below, were you into punk rock? Do you like punk rock? Do you have a vinyl record in your collection? But yeah, I'm interested because it's not something Thing and I were ever going to get into. <laughs> but that's it. Punk rock for the 15th of April. Guys, I've had a few different queries. Look, it doesn't matter how late you join in, you can join in now. All you have to do is make one item a month. You can incorporate both albums and post your picture to the Facebook group. Um, if you not don't want to join that, you can always email it to me and give me permission to post it. That puts you in our monthly draw for my $25 gift voucher giveaway. So if you're a new subscriber and think, oh, it's too late. No, you're not. It's never too late. And to go into the draw for the big mystery prize at the end of the year, you have to have posted at least eight different pictures to do with Rock 2022 AU. So, are you a punk rocker? Do you want to be a punk rocker with a flower in your hair? That was another song that drove me insane. Because after all my research, I don't think punk rockers actually put flowers in their hair. Um, I didn't find any. Anyway, guys, stay safe, take care, and don't forget, peace be with you, and rock it out for the rest of April. Bye for now.